listeners, Arthur here with the Arthur Podcast. I'm here at the playground with Buster. Hi, podcast people. It's Buster. (sighs) But something feels blah. We don't know what to do. I'm just sitting on a swing. I'm not even swinging. Listeners, have you ever had one of those days when it feels like time is passing really slowly? Was that two seconds or two hours? It all feels the same. Are we bored? No. I know what bored feels like. That's like when I have to watch the Mary Moo Cow Show with DW. One, two, three fuzzy, cuddly kitties. Three. Let's count them again. One. Yeah, that's boring. Hey, guys, can I have a turn on the swing? Yeah, I want one, too. Hey, Francine. Hey, Binky. We can't get up. We're too... We don't know what we are. Maybe it's an alien-influenced interdimensional distortion of the time-space continuum. That's the next big thing, you know. Oh, come on, you two. It's so obvious what's wrong. What, Francine? What's wrong with us? Arthur, you're in love. You have a big crush on someone. What? Francine, you don't know what you're talking about. If you keep sitting on that swing, you're in love. If you stand up, then maybe I'm wrong. I'm standing. I'm not in love. Ha! Got your swing. Oh, Francine. But I know what you mean. I've been feeling blah, too. Psst. Hey, Arthur. I know exactly what's wrong with you. You do, Binky? Here, have my apple. My mom says lack of roughage can make you cranky like that. An apple's a good source of roughage. I don't even know what that means, Binky. And I'm not cranky. Sure you're not. Here, Buster. You want an apple? No. I don't even feel like eating. Whoa, seriously? Not hungry? Are you kidding me? It's like the whole world's messed up or something. We have to figure out what's happening to everyone. Remember how happy we used to be? Yeah. You know what was great? That Halloween movie. Harry, Mary, scary, Harry, Halloween, Arama, boo! Remember the dancing skeletons? And that big boo at the end? Yeah. Another great show was a blunderbuss Thanksgiving. Remember when the whole blunderbuss family chased the turkey? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And yeah. don't forget about. When Cuddles the Elf slept through Christmas. That was one of the saddest shows I ever saw. It was great. That's it. That's what's wrong with us. We're not sad enough? No. Those were holiday shows. But there hasn't been a holiday in a long time. No preparations. No special store displays. No seasonal songs. No days off from school. No decorations. And it's cold out, so you can't really go anywhere. You know what we need? Summertime? Uh, no. We need to invent a new holiday. I like it. Yeah, we do. Great idea. Let's go home to work on our ideas. I'll tell Brain. Francine, you tell Muffy. Bye, everybody. Think See hard. everyone tomorrow. See everyone tomorrow. Now we have something to be excited about. Podcast people, you are listening when it happened. Elwood City is going to get a new holiday. So, listeners, most holidays celebrate a past event, like July 4th celebrates the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Or Martin Luther King Day, when we celebrate his life. But I have to figure out something important that happened in our past. And it's got to be something we don't celebrate already. Lucky for me, Grandma Thora is babysitting us today, and she knows a lot about the past. She's in the kitchen playing checkers with DW. Double jump, Grandma Thora! I win! Grandma, do you remember anything ever happening in Elwood City? Anything like what, dear? Like... Something everyone would want to remember. A day it rained pennies, or something was invented. Well, when I was a little girl, everyone was very excited when a zebra zeppelin flew over the town. What's a zeppelin? They're kind of shaped like cucumbers. Flying cucumber zebra? Cool. Yeah, it was. 
The Zeppelin was painted with black and white stripes. That's why they called it the Zebra Zeppelin. Was there a big protest? Or party? Or did something incredible happen? Oh, no. No, it just flew over. It was very quiet. I just said, hot ziggity, and it flew on by. Um, not, not that it's not exciting, Grandma, but I need something cool enough to be a brand new holiday. Pony Day! I don't think so. People would love Pony Day. Just saying it is fun. Oh. Pony Day! Sorry, Pony Arthur. Day. I can't think Pony of something that day. needs its own day. Pony no way, day. DW. Thanks anyway, Grandma. Well, talking to Grandma Thora was a bust, but I also don't want to hear another word about Pony Day. So I'm climbing up to the treehouse where I can think in peace. Whew, whew, it's cold. But there are no little sisters. Arthur, guess what? Buster, what are you doing up here? My mom said that if we came up with a really cool holiday, she'd put it in the newspaper. That's awesome. But why are you in the treehouse? Oh, I left my lucky four-leaf clover keychain up here. And I wanted to get it before tomorrow because I came up with a great holiday idea. It's so great, maybe I don't even need the extra luck. So what's the idea? Okay, stop what you're doing. Our new holiday is Give Me Candy Day. What kind of a holiday is that? Francine! What? You're a really quiet climber. Why are you here? Uh, my sister Catherine was driving me crazy, so I came here. I have a great idea for a new holiday. And she kept telling me her idea was better. Please. I totally understand. What was Catherine's idea? Pony Day. What? I know. Just because she rides horses. Can you believe it? So I came up to the treehouse for some privacy to work on my idea. Um... Can we get back to my holiday? Give me candy day? Not you, me. Me, me. Give me Buster Baxter candy day. On Give Me Candy Day, everyone dresses up in fun, colorful costumes and rings my doorbell. You mean just like Halloween? No, they don't ring every doorbell, just my doorbell. Then they give me candy. It's a holiday about giving. About giving to you. No, because after I've eaten all the candy I can, I share the rest with all the little children. Great, huh? Not as great as my idea. First, a holiday should be about relaxing. Eating candy is relaxing. But picture this. You sink back on your couch and turn on the TV and see our big holiday special. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da! Ladies and gentlemen, Francine Frensky! The weather outside is crummy And you feel as lively as a mummy There's nothing to do or say It's there's nothing to do today, day There's nothing to do You can do anything that you want to You can go to sleep, run and play Oh, there's nothing to do Nothing to do today, day Nothing to do today, day There's nothing to do I've today. heard it enough! I knew you'd love it So let's get There's Nothing to Do Today Day in the paper and make it a holiday You think that's better than Give Me Candy Day? I don't think so. Holidays are about relaxing and having fun, remember? They're also about something, not nothing. Yours is about nothing. Podcast listeners, the treehouse is not peaceful anymore. I can't think about my new great holiday idea if I have to listen to them fight. So I'm sneaking out of here. I gotta find a really quiet place. I'll let you know when I'm there, listeners. Okay, podcast people. I'm now in the library. It's at the top of the list of quiet places. I had to bring D.W., but she's at the story time with the librarian. So now there's just me and a quiet chair to brainstorm. (sighs) Holidays. Holly days. Holly wood. How much wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? (gasps) Happy woodchucking day! No. Hey, Arthur. Arthur. Brain. Binky. 
What are you doing in the library? Are you kidding me? I'm here all the time. They have a huge robotics book section, and you're sitting right underneath it. Well, I happen to like their comfy chairs. You want to make something of it? Anyway, I'm glad you're here. We both came up with new holidays. Listen to this. Igneous Rock Day. Igneous Rock Day? Absolutely. A holiday is about something that will last for all time. And what lasts longer than a big igneous rock? Oh. Rain said that rock used to be lava. Cool. But my holiday is better anyway. A holiday needs one thing. Fireworks. Think about it. As soon as midnight hits, we have 24 hours of solid, non-stop fireworks. Kablam! Kapow! But Pinky, you can't see fireworks during the day. So what? With non-stop fireworks, we wouldn't be able to hear anything either. We wouldn't be able to hear Mr. Ratburn, so we couldn't hear if we had homework. Couldn't that hurt our ears? Yeah, exactly. Um, okay. Well, these are really uh, special ideas. Um, I'm going to go sleep on it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow at the Sugar Bowl to talk about it. Okay. Don't forget, igneous rocks, Arthur. Bye, Arthur. <sighs> so much for a quiet library. Well, listeners, what do you think? Igneous Rock Day? Give Buster Baxter Candy Day? Fireworks? I don't think any of that's right. I asked you to send me some new holidays. Let me check my inbox to see what you had to say. So if I were to make a holiday, I would call it National Movie Day, where all you would do with your family is watch screens and movies. We would celebrate sweet treats. We would eat sweet treats, like ice cream and candy on the holiday. My holiday would be Whipped Cream Day, where we could get free whipped cream from the store. Book Day. National Movie Day. Yay! Awesome. I want to think of a cool idea like that. And I've got to do it before tomorrow. Arthur, I got a book about ponies. But you can borrow it to help you make Pony Day. DW, no way to Pony Day. Listeners, this is harder than I thought. Wish me luck, and I'll bring you to the Sugar Bowl tomorrow so you can hear how it all works out. Bye for now. You're supposed to say cut, Arthur. <sighs> As promised, podcast people, we're here at the Sugar Bowl. Now, where is everyone? Arthur! Over here! Hi, everyone! Hey, Hey, Arthur! Arthur. Hey, Arthur! Arthur, I don't care what the holiday is. I just want to sell the t-shirts and souvenirs. Take a look at this! Muffy, what is this? A contract? Just sign here to make me the official seller of stuff. Ah, we don't even have a holiday yet, and already it's too commercial. What should we do? There's got to be something that hasn't been celebrated yet. Igneous Rock Day! There's nothing to do today, Dave! It doesn't have candy, but it's not a holiday! Hey, it's hard to believe this all started because Arthur was acting like he was in love. Love? Wait a minute. (gasps) It's almost Valentine's Day! It is? Yes, next week. And I haven't made any Valentines yet. Me neither. We've been so busy with the new holiday, I completely forgot. Wait, hold it. Where are you going? The dry spell is over. Yeah, who needs a new holiday when we have Valentine's Day right in front of us? See you later, Arthur. Well, I hope my yeah, my sister and I are singing Valentine's Day together. Huh. Well, listeners, I guess that's the end of our great new holiday. Did you see the newspaper? Look, I sent in my idea about Pony Day, and they put it in the paper. Seriously? Pony Day! Pony, 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 pony. Hi, Arthur. I thought it was wonderful the way you cheered everyone up with the idea of a new holiday. But, Grandma Thora, I never thought of one. Well, now you've got a whole year to think of one. Hey! You're right. Yes, I am. And today happens to be Buy Your Grandson an Ice Cream Day. Want to celebrate it? Yes, I do. Arthur, tell the podcast people about Pony Day. Oh, yeah. Happy Pony Day, everyone. Bye. What flavor are you getting, Grandma Thora? I usually get strawberry.
You've been listening to the Arthur Podcast. Hey, parents, do you want your kids to answer my next inbox question? First, go to the Arthur website at pbskids.org to find out what I'll be asking. Then email me a voice recording of your child's response to arthur at wgbh.org. Your child's answer might even be featured on a future podcast. That's the show, Podcast Nation. If you liked it, ask your grown-up to subscribe so you don't miss any new episodes. You can listen to all our podcasts, play games, and more at pbskids.org. The Arthur Podcast is produced for PBS Kids by GBH Kids in partnership with Gen Z Media and distributed by PRX. Thanks for listening and have a wonderful kind of day. And I say, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. If you can learn to work and play and get along with each other. You got to listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm, the rhythm of the street. Open up your eyes, open up your ears, get together and make things better. GBH Kids.